Hi, Best Pets. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals. And if this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. Speaking of subscribers, I have a thousand subscriber giveaway going on. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe and leave a respectful comment. Shout out to Karen, Billy, Sue, Robin, Debbie, Angela, Joyce, Elsa, Rockstar, Ricky, Vicky, Christine, 24, Mary Crafty, 6, 94, no, 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 okay, there was tw number 24, then there was Mary Crafty, 694, and Pam's Paper Place, oh, I appreciate each and every one of you, okay, you guys, I have been playing and playing and playing and playing and playing with uh, the glassine napkin envelopes, and I have made all kinds of cute little envelopes out of the napkins and the the uh, paper that we made um, in our other video. So if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you really need to check it out. It's in my playlist. It's um, faux glassine bags. And um, so I have made quite a few. Some of them I went ahead and I ran it through my Sussex, uh, the embossing folder I used on it. And you can kind of see that it got embossed, especially on this one, you can see better. But mm, overall, it gave it a little different texture, but you really, I mean, you really have to look pretty hard to see it. This one I didn't run through. So see, this one I did and this one I didn't, you really can't see. Really, 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 really can't tell. So. I have been playing uh, around like I was saying, so let us begin. So the first thing that I tried with these is I tried my, I'm looking around for it, oh, I tried my texture paste that I made myself, and the recipe is a cup of baby powder, half a cup of acrylic paint, and one, one fourth cup of Elmer's glue, or white school glue. You just mix it all up, and voila, there you have it. And it looks like this. And I'm going to get my little palette. And I tried um, putting some of this on my envelope, just here and there and here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, just for, just for some stuff to do. <laughs> So let's just give it a try. Oh, you can see the embossing stuff now. Now it shows up. Well, look at that, would you? That's pretty, huh? Okay, I'm just putting a little bit here and there. Like I said, no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. Now, I took, the next thing I did was I took a little towel and I just kind of wiped it, is what I did. So we'll just give that a shot. You know you can see it now. You can see the embossing on it now. Look at there. You sure can. Okay, we better not forget the back. Just here and there again. Oh my, you can really see it. Look at there. Look at that little flower. Isn't that pretty? It's very attractive. Okay. I'm not going to put anything right here because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And my little trick about keeping this moist and not drying out. Uh, some people put, uh, what's it called? Um, clean wrap. Clean, clean wrap over the top. That was way too messy for me. So I just took my, take my water and I just spritz the top of it. That's what I do. 
and it seems to work for me so I bet it would work for you too <laughs> so give that a try I'm going to put that right over here I need to take my instructions back on here excuse for the reach so I don't lose them okay so put everything away here and put my water away and what did I do with the thing I just did oh here it is <laughs> here it is boy what a messy old little thing this is sorry about that guys okay so the next thing I did was I got a book page and I got my book page. I got one that wasn't too awful old because I'm finding that super old ones just do nothing but break and split and I don't care for that. So um, I'm going to just eyeball it here just a little bit and I want to get my ruler and I'm going to say okay I'd like to trim this about well about right there at 12. I'm just going to trim it to fit inside my envelope. So I'm going to trim this so I want it to be inside my envelope. Okay this one Probably needs to be right here. Sorry guys. I'm having issues. <laughs> Measuring and all that stuff is just not my forte. I can measure and measure and measure and measure and then cut it and it'll be all wrong. <laughs> yeah well. Okay so now what do I do with my scissors? Here they are. Let's just trim this. I'm going to trim it on the inside of my mark. And do the other side as well. Okay. I'm going to make sure I don't have any bad words. Now this is a music play page. There shouldn't be any bad words on a music page. So that slips down in there nicely. I'm going to take off this green and put on my milled lavender. Take that out for just a minute and I'm just going to color this with my milled lavender. I chose this color because these are my hydrangeas and they're kind of blue and pink and I just thought that that would be very very pretty. So that was the only reason why I chose this color. Green might be very pretty with this as well, a limey green. And I'm just doing it here and there and quickly quickly but it's really important because oh my see how luscious that looks now mmm yummy yummy oh yes very beautiful indeed okay no I don't need to do that part okay so oh no, wait. <laughs> okay, so we need to. I was right in the first times. I need to fit this inside of here. Just like that. And kind of center it a little. And I am going to fold it. Oh no, I've got so much going on here. Let's just get this out of the way, huh? Yeah, okay, that's a little better, right guys? Okay, sorry about that. I'm just all over the place today.
Okay. I'm turning it on this side so I can fold this. That wasn't at all up to the edge. I want it up to the edge of this. Okay, I'm going to take it out now. And I'm going to fold this. And we'll see if it's going to fit inside before I start cutting on it. See? Oh, enough did that happen. I have no idea. I'm going to go all the way down in. <laughs> okay, guys. Where are my scissors? Like I said, guys, I am all over the place today. It's just kind of been me today. I have totally lost my scissors. Okay. Here they are. I found them. They were hiding. It always goes so much nicer when you're not on the video. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to make this shorter. That's all we're going to do. And we're going to make it short until it fits. Oh, that's nice. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, that fits in there. We're a little cattywampus to the world, but... There, that's much better. That'll look wonderful. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our milled lavender on our book page just to blend it in. Make it match, blend in with our beautiful, beautiful envelope. This helps with <clears throat> this issue right here. If this bothers somebody, which it may not bother anybody, but it also is not real firm. So you can fix it by putting one of these inside. Just like that. And gluing it down. Alrighty, I am going to go ahead and use my matte gel and I'm just going to use it just like glue. So one of my subscribers um, mentioned or asked me about the envelope. When, when I made the envelope, she asked me, did I use, uh, did I separate the plies of the envelope and, not of the envelope, of the napkin? And I most certainly did. I separated. I should have said that but I didn't in the video. I separated the napkin, so it's just a one, one piece of the napkin, not the other two. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, the next thing I would like to do is I would like to use my stamp with the um, script on it. So let me grab that real quick right over here. Alrighty, I've got that stamp. It is a paper craft stamp. 
And I am just going to ink up this corner right here because I'd like to apply that right here, right in the middle. There we go. There's our address. Oh my gosh, this is that pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so we've got our address on. And then what I would like to do is I would like to put a little trim on this. Let me grab some trim over here. I've got this adorable uh, flower trim. That's beautiful on it. Very beautiful. And I've also got this trim as well. I really, really, really like the flower trim. So I would like, let's see where we are about drying. It's not quite dry yet. I think that will be okay. I would like to put that on. the edge there. So I'm going to grab my fabric tech and I am going to go ahead and put some glue down. You guys, it, it was so, so warm yesterday. Super duper warm yesterday. And now today, it's like freezing, and it was raining, it rained last night, and it's like so cold. I'm freezing my feet. My feet are frozen. My feet are frozen right now. It's not that cold in my house. I just, I get cold so easy. I always say that my thermostat's broken. I cut one more. I always say my thermostat's broken, and, uh, <laughs> and my feet are cold today. They've been cold all day, and sitting here crafting, not moving around, you know, they really are screaming at me. We're cold, we're cold. Do something about it. Not yet, guys. <laughs> not yet. Oh my goodness, is that not adorable? Oh goodness gracious, that's pretty. Now we've got this side. I'm going to do that just because I don't want it to stick to my glass and rip off. Shall we put another one right here, which will be the front? I think so, right down there at the bottom. I see this little piece of thread that I didn't get cut very well. Trim that off and lay down some more glue, some of my fabric tack. I just love this stuff. Love fabric tack. And I bought this adorable little trim from um, where did I buy it? Joann's. That's where I bought it. And you, I bought it by the yard. So it wasn't a pre-cut. It wasn't pre-cut. Okay. I heard something kind of made me go, what? When, I, when you check out, you know, you always get those coupons that you can use with your app. Well, you can always get them too in the mail if you get them in the mail. All their coupons for next week was only for online. And she said that's the way the store's going, is online. I'm like, what? What do you mean? I want to touch stuff. I want to look at stuff. I want to go shopping in a store. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I think that looks so pretty. Okay, next, what I would like to do is I would like to grab this lace and this is just lace like this it's real wide and it just has all these little tentacle things on it like that and I would like to cut 
out one of these like this. Okay, I'm sorry if I didn't see that. I just cut it off of there. And I cut this off. That's what I cut off. I got a second one. Where did it go? Oh, there we go. Again, we don't know where anything's going today. We just... Mm -hmm. I don't know where the second piece went. There was another little piece. Oh, well. Okay, and I would like to apply that on here, but I am going to trim it down just a little closer. I think I want to take it this way. And I would like to, hmm, do I want to put it this way or do I want to come up this way? Oh, this is so shabby chic. I absolutely adore shabby chic. Absolutely adore it. Now it just is going to depend on your, your napkin whether it's going to end up shabby chic or not because, see like this envelope, this isn't really going to be shabby chic. You could make it real lacy and yummy, but now this one you could make shabby chic. Look, it's got cactuses on there. This one I really, really enjoyed. I took the um, the these shabby shutters, the green, it's a limey green, and I put it on there. I just think that is really pretty. Has, that napkin is so different. And I did it to the bunnies. I put the, um, already put the texture paste, the gesso, on the, the bunnies. I was just having so much fun. So, I mean, you can make this one shabby chic for sure. Boho maybe on this one. This one's boho. This one's just pretty. <laughs> okay, back to our thing. All right, so let's go ahead and I guess I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the lace. I'm not real sure. I put it on my envelope before. This afternoon when I was playing around, I was just having the best time. I kept saying, I gotta do a video, I gotta do a video. <laughs> and every time I'd say that, I'd keep going. And anyway, I'm doing a video now, guys. <laughs> okay, I was having so much fun. I jump around so much, otherwise I'd bring you along, but I'm just, I just jump around. I do this, then I try that for a while, and then I try that for a while. I'm thinking of this one up here somehow, but have it pull over, like come down on this side of the flap in some way, but that big flower is not going to allow it to bend very well. So I'm trying to just adjust it to where it would bend and not be in the writing too much and you know just try to make it work here I think that might work so is that it'll be all right no I think that's wrong side this is right side yeah yeah let's get the right side um let's see here my glue is going to start coming out here if I'm not careful That's not bad right there. Alrighty, let's go ahead and put some glue down and attach this. There we go. I'm 
right. Trying to get this to stick down everywhere. Okay. Move it over here. Oh my goodness, is that not pretty? That's so pretty. Let me see what it looks like on this side. Oh, it's just as pretty on this side. And you open it up, and it's got the words in it, the book page. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, guys, now, what that is, I have no idea. Um, what I would like to do is grab some of my butterflies. Where are my butterflies? I think it's going to take me a second to find them. I'm going to find them, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I found my butterflies that I have, and I chose this one. I think I want this one. Yeah, I think I want this one. So I'm going to need to cut this out real quick. Probably don't want anyone to see me do this. Okay, guys, I've got my butterfly. I'm just going to just do this to the wings. Just taking my fingernail and curling the wings just a little bit. I want it to be right there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue this down right here. Butterflies just pulled up just a little bit. And to get it to kind of hold its shape a little better, I'm going to take my matte gel. I'm just going to get a little bit on my paintbrush. That's way too much. And I'm just going to lightly put some matte gel on this little butterfly. Just like that. It also needs some kind of little pretty for the center. There we go. You can see it's kind of lifted off of the page just a little bit. Now I get this lid back on. And we need to put a little pretty in the middle. This one's beautiful. So, I do believe I'm going to need, here, I'll get a piece of my glue pad. And I'm just going to put my glue on this glue pad like that because I just painted that and I don't want to, I'm afraid if I touch it, it's going to get all messed up. If I touch it a lot, put the tip of that glue bottle. I'm going to put some glue right on, well, I think I am, right on the center here. I'm going to get me a pretty out of here. I just want one. I don't want two. These are so beautiful because they're um, super shiny. See how they glitter? They're so pretty. What are these called? They're called... What are they called? Ofre... Gems. And I bought them at Walmart. You know where you buy the, um, the ribbon and stuff? That's where I purchased it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Is that not 
an absolutely beautiful little envelope. Now, if you want to put a, a fake stamp or a real stamp there, um, we need a little something. Let me look at my stamps. All right, you guys. Oh my goodness, is that not perfect color? Now I have another another envelope that I've been working on today. I move this because I got glue on it. This is my other envelope I was working on. I don't have a stamp for it yet, so let me go ahead and get a stamp for it as well. No, I really need a blue one. I wonder if I have a blue one. I am looking at these stamps that are my father's to see if I have a pretty blue one. Oh, here's a pretty blue one. Oh, here's that same stamp in blue. How about that? I think it's Queen Elizabeth, a young Queen Elizabeth. I'm pretty sure she, they were her mother or something. It sure does look like her. Isn't that pretty on that one? Okay. So let's get that on there. And let's get our glue. And I am actually just going to use my fabric tech for this as well. And get this on here. I should have. Um, just a little bit. Oh, that'll work. That's perfect. I did this butterfly earlier, and it's not like hard crunchy, but it will keep its shape very well, even when you, you know, put it in a a journal and stuff it'll still I think will pop back just a little bit so let's get this one on then I'm gonna to have to get my stamp stuff and we're gonna to to figure out what we're gonna put on the flap of the envelope Oh my goodness, you guys. They're so pretty, aren't they? All right. Let me get my stamp stuff. Oh, I'm dropping all my stuff. Let me get my stamps. Stamp stamps. My stamp stamps. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my stamp stamps. That's what I called my stamp stamps. And... Let's use this. Neither one of them has that circle thing on it. Neither one of them has that. But let's get the black because that's what the post office uses is the black. Hmm. Can't even see what I'm doing, can you guys? I'm just putting ink on my stamp. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I've got to be careful of that because I've got that lace over there. Perfect. Perfect and perfect and perfect. And this one. Okay, this one doesn't have lines or anything on it. No lines, no stamps, no nothing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the next part that I need and put some ink on it perfect this one already has quite a few lines I'm not sure it needs any more maybe a tiny bit okay that looks good. Alrighty, let's go ahead and put this away. We've got that done. 
Now, we need to think of something for the closure. This is turning out absolutely beautiful. I'm so very happy with this. So very happy. I'm thinking, I actually think I need a little more pink on there. Where did my pink go? Put it up. Milled lavender. I keep calling it pink. They call it milled lavender. Oh yeah, it needed a little bit more pink on there. Isn't that beautiful? Open it up. So pretty. So very pretty. I'm thinking maybe just a Velcro closure right there because it's already just adorable with the flowers. And this one, um, it's got that going on just like that. And when it dries, see I made this afternoon, it gets hard, it gets firm, not hard, but firm. And so it's very, uh, it just putting the little don't put paper inside really made it keep its structure that's the word i'm looking for so um i didn't put a jewel in the middle of that one i may or may not no i think i do need a jewel in front of it that jewel really does really does help and as far as something else on here i'm not sure it needs it i'm just thinking i'm going to put a velcro closure you guys, I had so much fun, and I absolutely think these look absolutely luscious. And I'm so happy with how they turned out. And I really do hope you join me in my next video. See you soon, guys. Bye now.